Hello and welcome back to my videos. The last video we looked at was the basic editing with Camera Raw and the next series of videos is really going to look at um, converting your Kong images into black and white. The first uh, conversion method we're going to look at is actually looking at something called lab color. And what we have to do in this method is change the color mode of the image uh, to a different one and then change it back again to another one. That's the basic steps that we will take. And then I'll show you just a little bit about how you can maybe tweak the image a bit as well. So first you take your image, this is mine here, um, of this ceiling of a church in the city I live in. And the first thing I go is image mode and then lab color. Okay. And what happens is when you change it is your channels change and you find your channels here in my setup and what you can see is if I go back in the history is by going to lab color it changes it from a red green red green and blue image an RGB image where each channel controls a different thing to lab color which is here and in lab you have a lightness channel which controls the basically the light of the image, the sh where the shadows and the highlights and the midtones fall, and then you have the different channels for color, which is A and B. And if we view both of them at the same time, you can see there just the overall sort of color, and then just adding the lightness in uh, gives it the full image. So we have the lightness here. And so I want to deselect everything else. So there's a black and white. There we are. Thank you very much. And then we go back to image and we go out to image mode. And this time we send it to grayscale. Now I should have flattened the layers and discard the channels. And that's where we go. And in grayscale, you only have one channel, which is gray. And so I'll bring it back. So that's the basic conversion. Now, in grayscale, what you can do is you can add um, other layers on top as you're editing, but you can't add any more color. Because, uh, for example, if we were to have the image back as a RGB image, which is just done it, yep, you could then just go layer, new fill layer, solid color. And then just choose a color. I'll just choose. Let's try and choose like a more sepiaish tone. Quite a bright sepiaish tone. And when you go overlay, and you can have a you can have a bit of color in your image. You probably want to turn that down a little bit. But in grayscale, you can't do this. So I'm just going to go back a minute to the grayscale image. And this time, if you go to layer new fill layer, solid color. And we go the exact same way as we did a minute ago. And I choose that similar tone again. As well that. You get nothing. It is really just a, a gray or the tone, the black and white tone of that color. Now this can be extremely useful. Um, you can take advantage of this. Uh, if you want to have, for example, you're going, oh, it's a look a bit, mm, I want something, I want an overriding tone for the image. You could just go to your color picker and pick. So I think I quite like this gray here. Select it. This is the number for the color. Cancel. What I just did there is I double clicked here and I've just taken that number and I've copied it. And I cancel that and then I just go layer, new fill layer, solid color. And it's remembered it. It's set up the foreground. Okay. Put it as an overlay. Now you can control how much effect that has on the image. What is the great thing about using the layer adjustments is that 
what you can do is go, oh no, it's not quite right. You know, maybe it'll need a bit darker. You can just drop it down darker and go, okay, oh, that's actually flip that. Just doing a bit of darker there. And you can just play with it like that. And it's sort of a fantastic way that you can do this. Instead of, and, oh my goodness, you know, deleting layers and then making a new layer and then getting the paint tool, which is the other way you could do it, which is like new layer, paint tool, drop it in on top, and change the overlay. Doesn't quite work. Because then you're like, oh, I don't like it. Well, there's nothing much I can do. So you can just delete that, put that in there. So we like we like quite the original. I quite like that. Okay. And so from here on in, you can just edit your picture like you would normally edit it. So I would then just go to my levels. Be careful, so some clipping. Uh, I will talk in another video about these gaps here. They're a little bit annoying. In your histogram, let's just play around. I don't really like that. I quite liked it. I think it had quite a good tone to begin with. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to do too much with that. Probably just give it a bit of a kick in the curves. Okay, and we'll just finish with that image there. Obviously, then I'll just sharpen the image and um, reduce some noise. But there we are, that's the basic lab conversion. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. The next video, we're looking at using the channels to change the image from a color image to a black and white image. I'll put this on my this picture on my blog along with the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to catch you next time. Bye-bye.